Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to put alternative text into an image so that screen readers when they come along the image will have something to convey the information to the reader. And you can see here I've got a simple sample document and there is an image inside of my document. To add the alternative text to your image all you have to do is right click anywhere in your image and select format picture. When you select Format Picture, this dialog box is going to appear. And you're going to see at the very end here you have a tab called Alt Text. You want to go ahead and click on that and you can just simply type the information that the image conveys to the reader into this dialog box. And again, this is so that screen readers will have something to read to the person in the place of the image. So I can go ahead and type man typing, oops, on computer. And it can be as simple as that. You want to make sure that you keep your alternative text below 255 characters. If you have an extremely complex image like a chart or a graph, you could simply type a summary of what the image um, conveys here and then say see Appendix 1 in your document for a more complete description of the image or the uh, information conveyed by the image. But once you've gone ahead and put the alternative text in here, you can simply go ahead and click OK. And now the alternative text is in the, uh, the, that image. Now let's go ahead and scroll down in this document. You're going to see at the very bottom here, I've got a simple chart inside of my Word document. And it's a fairly simple chart but we couldn't convey all the information contained in this chart in 255 characters, which is the limit to the number of characters that a screen reader will read in the alternative text description. So in this case, we want to go ahead and right click anywhere on this image and select Format Picture again. And again, we're going to go ahead and come to Alt Text here. And I'm simply going to go ahead and type first quarter sales figures see appendix one for details and that tells the screen reader user exactly what the Im the image is and it tells them where to go to find a longer text description of all the details of our image so I'll go ahead and click OK and we've now added alternative text to this more complex image. And obviously we would need to add another section in our document that described this particular chart. One other thing that I'll mention here is that you're going to notice that I actually have a pattern background on my yellow bars right here, the third bar. And you always want to use that, some sort of a pattern, for your bars so that somebody that has either very low vision or somebody who has some color blindness will be able to identify what bar means what. In this case, the yellow bar here is for March and you can see the pattern there. And there is no con there is no pattern in the blue bar or in the um, red bar here. So we wouldn't want to actually use this particular chart. You'd want to go back into Excel or whatever pro program you use to create the chart and add that visual marking to those columns so that color is not the only way that an element is identified. And again, we have another video on talk that talks about using color um, and accessibility in your document. But for right now, in this video, we just want to make sure that you can right click on an image, select Format Picture, and go to Alt Text and type in a description of the image. Either a summary and an indication of where a more detailed description of the image would be, or for a simpler image like what we had up here at the top, the full description of that particular image. And that's all there is to putting alternative text uh, descriptions on images inside of Microsoft Word. If you convert this document over into a PDF, these alternative text descriptions will come over with your um, document, so you won't have to do that in your PDF as well. 